Farther down deep into the mountain, one and a half hours, we hardly saw a soul. But everywhere you look, you see evidence that there are people living in this isolated area. Ha!、Huh. So this is it. We are going to visit a small village up there on that mountain. But it's a very special village. They live in a huge, huge cave. They say it's one hour climbing. I hope I can finish it within two hours. Okay, thank you. Let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Of course, the one-hour climb is for the locals. The climb is much more difficult for an urban dweller. Struggling along a path of slippery stones and treacherous grasses, I can't help wondering what is it like to walk these paths on a daily basis. What kind of people could have the stamina and persistence? To accept the hardships of a life like this, there's no easy way, and there's no other way. This is the only way to get to the cave village, and we have to pass that huge—I don't know how to call that—opening in the mountain. It used to be an ancient river bank. Let's go. For all kinds of imaginable and unimaginable difficulties. Oh, help! Woo! Finally, we see patches of farmed land on the stone mountain. We are getting closer to the village. Two hours climbing and falling down. Hi. Obviously, you can read it on their faces. The kids growing up on the mountain are shy and timid. After two hours hiking, this is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. It's unbelievable. It's a living village in the cave. Some twenty families live in this cave. Which is at least as big as one and a half soccer game fields. Nobody remembers now when people start to live in the caves, but the cave is cool in summer and provides natural shelter. The homes are built with bamboo, bricks, and wood, and are probably unique in that they don't have a roof. No need. All the families here live under one single stone roof.
Most of the villagers here are farmers, and they grow corn and eat corn. Life here is certainly slow-paced and self-reliant. Even the way people speak is much slower. But for generations, they've been used to this lifestyle, and it seems nobody is unhappy about it. Or if they are, then they are too proud to show it. I'm told the government built houses down the mountains for them, but they didn't like them very much. They stayed down there for a while and then moved back up here. Yeah. A few years ago, a small primary school was built in a cave. So children from other villages also come here for education. They all belong to the Miao ethnic group, speaking Miao language. But here they are learning other languages as well, and not only Mandarin. The cave village is not a travel destination in the usual sense of the term. You can't say it's a haven where you can escape from the chaos of the world. And I'm sure life here is as simple as it is hard. But for any traveler who really wants to see the world beyond the tourist spots, the climb is worth it. Coming upon this little community after hours of difficult climbing is a real eye-opener. It will certainly make you rethink about many things you've always taken for granted. <laughs>